How's it going, Rackle viewers? Grim Gaddy right back into another Legends of the West video. And we got another twofer. And we got another Call of War as callback. Dear sweet lord. And this request is, of course, from PSN Psychosis HQ. Again. I really need to limit how much you guys can win. This is, uh, this is just unfair at this point. But basically, that's it. We're, we're attempting to do Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid from Call of War's Gunslinger. And... Yeah... Needless to say, much like any of the Call of War as outfits I've done, save for Silas himself, they're not easy to replicate. I mean, they got bandoliers all over the place, they got gun belts all over the place, like, I... I, I what you're looking at right now, for example, this is Sundance. <laughs> Basically, this is Sundance, hold on. For some reason, they didn't throw on the bloody bandana I actually went out and got specifically for this outfit. There we go. Yeah, and it's simple as all heck. So, without further ado, let's break down this one piece by piece, shall we? Starting off with the hat. The hat itself, sadly, is going to be the priciest uh, thing available, as uh, you have to buy an entire outfit for, for this outfit. Where the bloody hell did I put that damn hat? There it is. The Sunderland hat, or the Sunderland outfit, which you get from the trader. The good news is, I believe, no, bad news, this is the fourth uh, outfit series, if I remember right. I honestly can't remember right. But the hat fit the look perfectly. Honestly, if we had the Warren Gamble hat for the single player, that would have done much better. Like, that that would have been spot the hell on. But this is a nice close second. Also, it's just a fine hat to add to your collection. No eyewear with this outfit. No mask for bandanas, however. His is weird. He's wearing almost like a scarf that's actually wrapped around his head. It, it's kind of hard to replicate really the closest thing we got is the gathered bandana in a yellow here as it does cover actually the entirety of the neck and yeah, it's about as close as we can get no other neckwear no coats no ponchos no vests for shirts honestly any shirt in black will do honestly i i'm not gonna dance around the bush about that literally any shirt this is gonna be the cheapest of the two outfits to make no suspenders no gauntlets no gloves no rings no belts Actually, you could throw on a belt, just because they have belts just at the wazoo for some reason to call it Juarez. I don't know why. Buckles, completely dealer's choice. Weapon equipment, honestly, anything that is black. Kind of dealer's choice on that. I personally went with the Bulger, but the studded banded gun belt, I'd say, also fits really well for just how ostentatious some of the Call of Juarez outfits get. As for pants, Bandito pants in black. New chaps, new overalls for boots, the worn roper boots. Again, in black. Faded or clean, your choice. As for spurs, I <laughs> swear to God, they're not wearing spurs. But just in case they are wearing spurs, I'm just throwing out the limb here. They're as ostentatious as the rest of the outfit, so the Vaquero Baroque spurs do wonders. <sighs> well, that's it for Sundance. Let's get into Butch Cassidy's outfit. This one is going to be the pricier of the two, and you're going to have to buy a trade outfit, sadly, for the hat itself. Though there are a couple of other suggestions I can throw out there. For a fine example, if I can find the bloody thing, I have way too many outfits. I have way too many hats. I have way too much of anything. Honestly, the cutter hat, if it came in white, would be perfect. Keep an eye out if you want to complete this outfit a little bit better because if this thing pops up in a completely white version it'd be dead on same with the Cayuga hat it almost kind of fits Diamondback could kind of work I suppose honestly the Caldwell hat is about the only other one that fits that's if you don't want to buy an entire outfit but if you already have it or bought it honestly the Carthage hat I mostly like this because not only does it come in white, not only does it kind of fit the profile, but it also has the drawstring. No eyewear, no mask, bandanas, this I'm getting tripped out on. Because I, I went through and actually watched my own recordings of me playing this game. And for the life of me, it's not bandanas, I'm dumb, my apologies, neckwear. I want neckwear because we're going into neckerchiefs. And in some scenes... It looks like a ruddy brown. In other scenes, it looks like it's kind of red. I I even went through and watched other people's Let's Plays and watched other clips of it, and I still have the same problem. It either looks like one or the other sometimes. So, 
Mostly dealer's choice. Darker brown, red, neckerchief. You're good either way. For coats... Yeah, for uh, all the fringe and all the other stuff on his coat. Honestly, the Riggs fringe coat I felt kind of worked the best. And a darker brown. I mean, granted, it doesn't have the corduroy look of... Uh, I'm not going to look for it. But no, I, I picked it because it comes in the color that we need and comes with the little tassels. No ponchos for vests. Double-breasted lapel vest in red. About the only thing I can really nail. For sure, it's mostly dealer's choice, honestly. I would say something in a kind of darker brown, which I only had one option available to me, and that was in the Padden shirt. Also, I can't tell if it's the color of his coat or the color of his shirt that he's puffed up in this particular outfit for Butch Cassidy. It's really strange. But then again, it's Call of War as everything's strange. No suspenders, because we're not going to see him. No gauntlets. No gloves. Don't know why those are there. Take those off. No rings. Belts. Yeah, let's throw them on. It's a Call of War as, even though you're not going to see it. Buckles, complete dealer's choice. Weapon equipment. Same as Sundance. Like, honestly, black. Go find her if you want. Tone it down if you wish. Dealer's choice. Pants, however, kind of the same. Bandito pants. Though his look a little bit more faded. So I personally recommend, I believe, the default option is what this is. Though you can't go wrong going in flat black either. No chaps. Boots. Worn roper boots. Yet again. This time in a brown. Again, faded or clean. Completely your choice. And of course, same thing with Sundance. Just, if you want to throw spurs, I recommend the Vaquero Baroque spurs. This time, preferably in brown to match the boots. Holy crap. That all said, that's it for this one. Oh, dear sweet lord. Uh, I gotta play this game more and I gotta earn some money because holy crap, y'all went and made me broke yet again. <laughs> But as usual, I hope you all enjoyed. If y'all did enjoy, a great way of showing your supporters by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course sharing it with your friends. And, you know, just as a little added incentive to get in on this, and just for the free shout out, check down below in the description for the guidelines and submit your own requests down in the comments. All well said, I gotta I gotta get insane on here and my other buddy who might be showing up here soon in my my grim friends play Red Dead Online. We gotta earn some freaking money. Once again, though, thank y'all for watching. Till next time, kids. Take care now. Bye bye then.